Hey, this is Tom from Tom's Tech Show. Today we are talking about how much memory is free after you install Windows 10 and compare it to different versions. Here we go. Hey everybody, uh, I had a question come up on one of my other videos. I did a video on uh, Windows 10, the LTSC, long-term servicing channel version, which is what I use on everything now. I don't use that anything, any other version of Windows 10 anywhere because the lack of garbageware and, and everything else is just makes Windows able to work and not get in your way and not have apps everywhere. It's it's Windows 10 is the most horrible Windows Microsoft has ever put out. When and you compare that right next to Windows LTSC, which is probably the best Windows Microsoft has ever put out. Anyway, so let's look at some shots, screenshots here. Um, so I did as kind of a base. I went back to Windows 7. This is a Windows 7 professional installation. Um, I use VirtualBox, so I just bring up VirtualBox, load the ISO, do the install, and after the install is done, I just go and let the box quiet down after all the uh, startup programs have run, and, and I see how much memory is used and how much memory is free. Okay, so Windows 7 here has is using 931 meg of memory, leaving almost three gigs free. All these boxes are the same. They got two CPUs and four gigs of memory and boom. So we end up with this with this 900 used and about three gigs free out of the four gig, which which three gigs, you know, if you had a four gig box back then would have seemed pretty good. Okay, so let's go to this one. Uh, so here, this one is uh, Windows 10. Uh, loads of crapware, loads of garbage, Microsoft Store, uh, tons of other, you know, whatever crapola they want to put on it. And it is using 1.4 gig out of the four, giving you 2.6 gigs free. So from Windows 7, we're half a gig higher than uh, Windows 7 with just Windows 10 and all the crapware and everything else. So if we go back, and we look at Windows 7 LTSC, which has none of that stuff. We're at one gig again, just almost like Windows 7, just almost at Windows 7, you know, optimization here, and close to three gig free again. So we've actually increased some performance and increased, you know, some capabilities with Windows 10 and LTSC, and basically use no more memory. So all of the other memory that's being used in here, this other 0.4 memory, is Microsoft allowing all these other companies to load crapware onto your computer. So I also did, um, I also had my box, my box here. This here is uh, actually a running virtual box that's running here right now. Um, and it's kind of quieted down um, after letting some updates and stuff go. Uh, this box only has two gig of memory, so it's a little bit different, but Still, this is the box that I had. Um, I didn't have the store installed, and I installed the store after, this is LTSC, then I ran the scripts to install the Microsoft Store. And this box has, is using 1.1 gig of memory, and if this were a four gig box, it'd have like 2.8 gig free, and able to be, you know, utilized. You're gonna be able to use all that memory that you know, in Windows, the current Windows 10, right? That you know, you're not you're not going to be able to use. So, so this this 1.4, you know, and this is a very clean install. I did it as cleanly as possible. I turned off all the telemetry, everything like that. So as much little as running on the box as possible. Um, Chrome is not loaded, so it's not chewing memory. So it's as clean as I can get. A box and it's at 1.4 so that you know Microsoft still again is not doing anybody any favors by loading all this crap on the computers so but I thought it was very interesting that's just why one reason why I'm using um, LTSC everywhere that I can and putting that on every box that I can just it, it just makes sense um, and there is a way to get LTSC you know, for a home user, but it's like $300 or more if you buy a volume 
license you buy like five items you buy ltsc and then a couple of license four licenses for something else because you got to have at least purchasing at least five uh licenses for something at microsoft then you can get kind of a volume license agreement and and all that and then be able to get a copy of ltsc um i have a uh, visual studio license and that's how i'm able to get it and be able to install it and and to use it and it just I wish, I mean, I'm, I, I would call out Microsoft every day and just say, listen, you want to start doing your customers a favor. You want to start helping them. You want to start creating trust back to people wanting to use Microsoft and not jumping to Linux. I mean, uh, anything that I don't need to run Microsoft Windows on, I run Debian Linux with the mate interface. And, and that is it. I mean, nothing else. You know, so, I mean, I have a Mac, but that's a few Macs here and there, but, and that runs, you know, the Mac OS, but for everything else, I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Linux. If I have to run something that's Windows, it's going to be Windows LTSC. Um, so, all right, well, that's kind of how the memory is. So we got 900 for Windows 7, basically one gig for Windows 10 LTSC, and then 1.4 for regular windows 10 install so if you have a computer that has a low amount of memory and you're going to be you know you can get a bot computer that has four gig or maybe even two gig i don't know why you would do two gig but if you had a two gig box and you were trying to upgrade it and get windows 10 on it you know ltsc would be a much better way you were not going to be chewing up all, all your memory and still have memory to do web browsing and, and other applications all right well, thanks for watching this. Um, if you have any questions about any other memory things or any other you know, applications and how they work on LTSC, um, just leave comments down below. If you like these videos, subscribe to my channel. I've just, just passed, amazingly, I was on vacation and I passed 100 subscribers and I was so excited you know, on vacation and I you know, couldn't, didn't have quite enough time to make a video about that, but it's, it's, it's pretty fun doing this channel and I've been doing it for just about not even quite a year and I have 100 subscribers and I get a lot of a lot of watch time and, and everything on my videos and I, and I appreciate everybody. I mean, if you have questions, I, I, my channel's small, so that's the nice thing. Everybody that asks questions, I answer. So that's the nice thing about a small channel. All right. Well, thanks for watching this and take care.